Millie Jimenez, and I have five kids, 20, 17, 13, and twin boys that are four. Um, they were diagnosed with autism at about a year and three months, and unfortunately, after going through four different pediatricians, I knew there was something wrong, and they never really pinpointed anything, and I decided to take them to a neurologist. I went to three different opinions, and I kind of was the first one that picked up the diagnosis, not being really sure about it. Uh, when they were finally diagnosed, I did every therapy possible. I, Anything you can think of, that's what I did. I started reading, researching online until uh, my boss happened to come across you guys because he's doing a study as well and he recommended I go to the stem cell clinic because of their um, you know publishing papers and their research and how known they were rather than going to the place in Germany which had not published anything and they were not affiliated with any university so I kind of felt safe and um, our experience was tough on the airplane flying there with two autistic children that were aggressive was very chaotic, uh, but we made it while we were there. On the second treatment, one of the twins used to only sleep two to three hours a night, and the other one four to five hours. And on the second day, they both slept through the night for about, I'm gonna say seven hours, which that was huge for me, because I wasn't used to sleeping. Um, and basically, on during the whole week, it was a nightmare, because they were aggressive. Um, they wanted to take the, you know, the catheter off, which they did every day. I would have to go back to have it put back in. Unfortunately, we just couldn't control them. But once we got home, I mean, I remember crying on the way back on the airplane because one of them bit me so hard he broke skin in my hand and I started bleeding. And the people, you know, uh, the stewardess, they just kind of didn't know what to do when they were going crazy. Luckily, they fell asleep. But when we got home, everything changed in a positive way. Now. I had one twin that was more verbal because they were both nonverbal. Now he says the ABCs in English and in Spanish. He counts one to 20, both in English and Spanish. He knows his colors, his shapes, he sings songs. He's, um, his speech therapist is extremely happy and the OT therapists are also very happy with both of them. Although one of them has no speech, he's not stimming anymore. His eye contact has improved, you know, a lot. Um, in which now he gives you like a stare, like now he's just very deep. And I'm gonna say that, you know, since the, the treatment, they've been more like affectionate to me and, and basically they have more of a, of a link to kind of like that mommy love affection, you know, relationship with me, which it's incredible. I mean, I'm very, very happy I did it and we're looking forward to going next year, sometime early next year, for a second treatment. I actually, I've been an advocate of, of this company, believe it or not, without them knowing I've really taken people from school, from, you know, the therapist's office, and I'll tell them a lot of people are very apprehensive about going out of the country because they only know what they've known here or what they tell you here and unfortunately a lot of these doctors they kind of make parents feel like there's no other choice there's no hope and there's nothing else other than what they say and you just got to live with it deal with it that's how it is we don't have a cure sorry pretty much go home and, and figure it out or learn to live with it but what I tell them is you know sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone and it's kind of like you know ignorance is bliss you don't really know what's out there if you don't try it and I'm a true believer, you have to try pretty much everything. And if you're a desperate parent and you want to do the best for your child and you have to go through those measures, you need to do it. And I, you know, I told them my experience and, you know, I, I can tell you almost every parent will do it. And I've already sent four patients there, which are terribly, I mean, they're so happy that, you know, they call me all the time and they thank me for doing that. And a couple of them were patients from where I used to work that had grandkids or, or children with autism. So I, you know, I, I always try to make sure that people know why and understand why sometimes it's worth leaving the comfort zone to make things better. And again, we live in a country that unfortunately there's an FDA and unfortunately there are politics and unfortunately people sue all the time. So everybody's worried more of about a medical legal situation rather than worrying about your child and making him better.
Me being Latin and uh, me working for a doctor previously, I can tell you I would always tell my patients not to go have plastic surgery in other countries because of the cleanliness, infection rates, and I'll tell you, I'm very picky, and the first thing I did was look around the whole clinic, the baseboards, you know, and see if there was any dust anywhere, and the place was immaculate. I mean, I have OCD, so I'm very into the cleaning, and I can tell you, it was very clean. I can tell you the risks of infections are probably zero, if anything, and I went to the uh, clinics, and everything was impeccable. For me, it was very clean, cleaner than most places you go here thinking this is the United States, it's the best thing. It's probably really not until you go elsewhere and you realize, you know what, there's something better than here. And for the future, will you continue? Will your children continue this therapy? Is this something that's in your future for their for their treatment? Yes, for definitely. We're already setting things up to go. Maybe I'm going to say February or March of next year. Yeah, I, it's two kids, so I have to set up the other three. I'm leaving behind the house, everything else. So. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be going there again. And as a matter of fact, that we're also giving them the stem kind um, uh, in uh, multivitamins, and they've gone hand in hand with the whole treatment, and it's, they've made things better for us. So like yourself, now I have a life. I did not lose my husband. There was no divorce. There was nothing you know negative anymore. I'm happy every day. I learned to live with my situation because I see that now it's getting better. So now I have hope because the stem cell clinic has given it to me. So I'm very, very happy and I, am, I can't wait for next year.